good, everybody? It's the one who never takes a loss, Ice Cool Boss, your source for the Toronto Raptors. The Houston Rockets came to Scotiabank Arena and ruined Masai Ujiri's Giants of Africa night, celebrating the life of human rights activist Nelson Mandela. The Rockets beat the Raptors 119-109, and believe it or not, the leading scorer for the Rockets wasn't James Harden or Russell Westbrook. The leading scorer straight from the thrift shop was Ben McLemore. This man had a game high, 28 points, and shot a Burger King whopping 17 threes. That shit crack. Macklemore connected on eight of them too. How sway? To put that in perspective of how crazy that is, Macklemore is only averaging eight points per game on the season. Oh my god! The superstar James Harden received the Raptors throw everything including the kitchen sink approach on defense. The Raptors did a great job containing Harden on several occasions. Harden only took 11 shots this game, which is well below his season average of 25 shots a game. Unfortunately, Harden had one of his most efficient scoring nights as he shot 7 of 11 from the field to score 23 points. How dare you! Russell Westbrook was his usual inefficient self tonight, bricking shots left, right, and center. Westbrook shot a dismal, abysmal 7 of 27 from the field on his way to a trademark triple double with 19 points, 13 rebounds, and 11 assists. Former Raptor PJ Tucker, who took less money to join the Rockets in the hopes of winning a championship, is still ringless. <laughs> Unfortunately, he knocked down five threes en route to 18 points and 11 rebounds to help the Rockets win this. On the Raptors side of things, Spicy P came out of the gates firing on all cylinders as he finished with 14 points in the first quarter alone. All right, all right, all right. Unfortunately, the rest of the game, Spicy P was very quiet as he only scored 10 more points on 9 of 22 shooting from the field to attain a team high 24 points. Earlier in the season, Spicy P looked like an MVP candidate to me. Unfortunately, Siakam has regressed and put up multiple subpar performances which have booted him out of the top 5 MVPs in my opinion. Is Spicy P good enough to throw himself back into the MVP conversation? Let me know in the comment section down below. The man fresh off of his thumb injury, which sidelined him for 11 games, was trying his best to keep the Raptors in this one. After Lowry shot a dismal, abysmal 2 of 18 from the field against the Miami Heat, Lowry was much improved this game as Lowry was hustling back to take charges and Lowry did an overall solid job tonight, finishing with 19 points and 8 assists along with 3 threes made. Raptors fans retreated to an Oscar award winning performance in this game too. Lowry took a quote unquote elbow to the face from PJ Tucker in this one, which seemingly hurt Lowry so much so, he flailed in pain twice from one elbow. <laughs> Steady Freddy had an excellent game as well as he finished with 20 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, and 3 steals to go along with 3 made threes as well. Steady Freddy shows up to every game ready, what else would you expect? Gasol did an excellent job locking up Clint Capella and anyone else who dared to try and score in the paint. He had several great blocks, a few clutch steals, and overall Gasol did an excellent job locking up the paint for the Raptors tonight. Hopefully, next game Gasol will improve upon his performance and put up more than just 5 points. Terrence Davis played well in his 14 minutes of action, which included knocking down a pair of threes. I definitely would like to see Davis get more run in the future. The man who has been scorching for the past two weeks, Norman Powell, played excellently again tonight, as he had 14 points in this one. Powell has transformed his game from a madman running to the rim with his head cut off to a true professional who makes sure everything he does on the court is well thought out and contributes to his team's overall success. 
Unfortunately, OG and Anobi had no success shooting tonight. OG shot a dismal, abysmal 1 of 7 from 3 tonight. Oh, hell no! At one point in the season, OG had the highest 3-point percentage in the entire NBA. Now OG has only hit 1-3 in his past 4 games combined. Oh, hell no. OG, however, was instrumental in locking up Harden tonight on defense, but his offense left much to be desired. Mafuzi Chef, former teammates with James Harden and Russell Westbrook on the Oklahoma City Thunder, had a monstrous throwdown dunk in this game. Unfortunately, that was all Mafuzi Chef had cooked up tonight, as he was getting taken advantage of on defense on more than one occasion. It certainly doesn't help that the Rockets grabbed an unfathomable 20 offensive rebounds this game, too. The Raptors are now 3-6 against teams over 500, which means in their playoffs, the Raptors may have a tough time winning if they don't improve. The Raptors definitely need to find their chemistry once again now that Kyle Lowry and Serge Ibaka have joined the Raptors lineup after being out for extended periods of time. The Raptors will look to rebound on Sunday against the crybaby Embiid and Ben Kardashian of the Philadelphia 76ers. Enough of what I think. What do you think of the Rockets rocking the Raptors? Is Spicy P no longer in the MVP conversation? And is Ben McLemore someone we need to worry about in the future? Or did he just have a lucky game? Let me know in the comment section down below. That's it for today's video. Take it easy. Like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon to be notified when I provide new NBA content. See ya!